Today I'm going to show you a few tricks that you can do at the command line using some special characters on the keyboard. In particular, we're going to go over the caret symbol and the exclamation point as far as command line, text replacement, and event designators. So let me pull up a terminal here. And in the terminal, I'm just going to do a simple echo command. Echo foo. And we're going to print out the word foo. Now, what if instead of foo, I wanted to replace that with the word bar? Now, of course, I could simply echo bar since it's just a short command. But what if uh, instead of a really short command, I typed a long command and the word I want to replace is in the middle of this very long command? Well, you could use the caret symbol for a text replacement right here in the shell. So if you do on my keyboard anyway, shift six gets me the caret symbol and then the caret symbol basically remains replace. What do I want to replace? I want to replace the word foo and then do caret symbol again. Replace foo with what? The word bar. Hit enter. And basically it's going to run the last command you just ran except it replaces foo with bar. And of course now the output is simply the word bar instead of foo. And you can see how this could come in handy in a lot of lengthy commands where the commands are very similar, except maybe you change one word. For example, on a Debian or an Ubuntu-based system to uh, update the system, you do a sudo apt update. Hit enter. Of course, I don't have a Debian or an Ubuntu-based system, so there's no point in me running that command. But then the next thing you should do is run sudo apt upgrade after you run sudo apt update. But the easy way to run the second part of this, which is the sudo apt upgrade portion of the command, is simply to do the caret replacement. So do caret and then update. What do I want to replace update with? I want to replace it with the word upgrade. Hit enter and now it's going to run sudo apt upgrade for us. But again, I'm running an Arch based system. That was just an example though for those of you that are running Debian or Ubuntu based systems. I often have to stop and start services with systemd. So if you run a command like sudo systemctl status, and then maybe I want to check the status on my firewall, which is UFW. And, and then I give it my sudo password. Now, you don't normally have to check the status of a service by using sudo, but I typed it in this command because of the next thing I'm about to do. Now that I've seen that the firewall is enabled and active, what if I want to disable it? Well, all I really have to do is just do a caret replacement. You know, I can replace the word status with the word stop. And it runs the command sudo system ctl stop ufw. I just turned off my firewall. Now, what if I want to turn it back on? Well, that's easy too. I just replace stop with start. And it runs that last command and replaces the word stop with start. So using the caret symbol is very useful so if I echo foo again and show you again that I can replace foo with bar. Now what this really is, is this is shorthand for a, another command, basically. It is actually shorthand for this here, which is two exclamation points followed by a colon followed by gs slash foo slash bar slash. Caret foo, caret bar is the exact same thing as writing this line here. It's just an easier way of writing that. They both do the same thing. If I do an echo foo and then run the command here with the gs, the gs is a global substitution. Uh, basically, if I wanted to explain this to you, the two exclamation points means run that exact command I just ran and then the colon gs, do a global substitution, find foo, replace it with bar. And you see it is the exact same output as simply running caret foo, caret bar. Now what if I wanted to replace multiple instances of foo? Maybe I have foo three times. Well, if I do caret foo, caret bar, it's only going to replace the first instance of that instead of all three instances. So let me echo foo, foo, foo. And then what if I run the global substitution command and hit enter? You see it actually changes every instance of foo to bar. Although there is a way to do a global substitution with the carrots, if I do echo foo bar foo, what I could do is I could caret symbol foo, caret symbol bar, caret symbol colon ampersand. Hit enter and you see it changes every instance of foo to bar. Let me clear the screen. One other way to do a 
global substitution would be something like echo foo bar foo and use the fc command fc is uh, one of the standard commands in your shell just do fc space s and then what do you want to substitute i want to substitute foo equals bar hit enter and again it changes every instance of foo to bar if you're unsure of what the fc command is or any command in the shell remember always you can check the man page which is the manual so do man and then name of program so really there are a lot of ways to replace text you can use fc space dash s you can use the global substitution command with colon gs and then the slashes or you can do the caret symbols such as if i wrote echo and then in quotes i broke my clavicle hit enter if i wanted to substitute something in the middle of the sentence i could always caret clav caret test and then it echoes out i broke my testicle that hurts going back to that global substitution command earlier with the two exclamation points i mentioned two exclamation points is always the last command you ran Exclamation points in the shell are what they call event designators. Basically, they have something to do with your shell's history is what the exclamation point symbolizes. So the two exclamation points simply runs the last command that you just did, which for me was clear the screen. That's why it did nothing here. But if I run a history command, you'll see my history. And if I did exclamation point and then a number from my history, it will run that command. You see 532 was running man FC. So if I did exclamation point and then 532, it runs man FC. Now, sometimes you want to run a command, not the command you just ran, but maybe you want to do a command two or three commands back. And for that, the last command is always two exclamation points. And beyond that, do you really have to go search in the history and find the number? Well, if you know I want to run the command I ran two commands back, what you could do is simply exclamation point dash and then the number of commands, how far back you want to go. So I, I want to go two commands back. Hit enter. And it runs the history command because that was the command I ran two commands back. If I wanted to, I could run the command I ran ten commands back. So that could be useful. A command I find useful often is simply exclamation point and then a command and what this does is it searches through your history and finds the last command that involved the string that you're typing so if i do exclamation cd it's going to run cd with the same arguments as i ran cd the last time i ran it and the last time i ran it is i cd'd into my distrotube.com folder let me cd back into my home folder clear the screen but say you ssh into a lot of different machines you have several different web servers and you're not sure you know what ip address for each one but you want to ssh into that machine that you just ssh into the last time well you could exclamation point ssh and it's going to run the ssh command the exact same way you ran it last time so that was just a quick video on some command line tricks some tricks with the exclamation point as far as finding past commands in your history as well as doing some simple text replacement with the caret symbol or with the global substitution command that i showed you now before i go i need to thank a few special people I need to thank the patrons of the channel. This show was made possible by Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Corp, Benny, and Lambda, Michael, Mitchell, Rob, Sean, Stallman, and Willie. These guys, they're the producers of the show. Without these guys, you wouldn't know anything about command line text replacement or command line event designators. You wouldn't know about it. The show is also brought to you by all those other names you see on the screen. Those are my, all my supporters over on Patreon. I want to thank each and every one of those guys. If you'd like to support my work, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.